Hey, how are you doing, folks? Um, so today we're going to be doing our first GOGA workout, so our first Get Out and Get Active workout. Uh, I'm doing it outside, so this is my first time uh, giving it a try outside, so hopefully everything works smoothly. And by all means, you can get outside, you can do this workout outside if you want. No equipment required for this. Maybe just a yoga mat. Uh, get out, move, um, and start feeling a little bit better. This workout, you could also use this warm-up if you are going out to play a bit of golf or play any kind of rotational sport. Uh, this is a nice little warm-up. So the initial warm-up that I'm going to show you is a nice warm-up that you could do to uh, mobilize your body and prepare your body for um, any uh, rotational sport like golf, tennis, anything like that. Okay, so keep that in mind. Um, before we start playing sports like that, we want to make sure we properly warm up so we can reduce our risk of injury. Okay? Um, so as we're going through the workout, um, go at your own pace as you're going through the workout. Always go at your pace to give yourself the best workout you can. Um, focus on your technique as you're going through the workout. Make sure the form's good so you're getting the most out of the exercises as you're doing them. And then last thing, you know, let's just have fun while we're going through the workout, okay? So um, we're going to start with our warm-up here. We're going to go through a bunch of different movements. We're going to switch them up every 30 seconds. Um, and yeah, I'll call them out as we go through, okay? So we'll get started here. First one we're going to do is a lateral lunge. It's going to give us a bit of a groin stretch. So we're going to go over to the side, nice straight leg. You're going to feel that stretch through the groin, okay? And then we're going to be going back and forth doing that, getting that stretch. Good, so we're going to keep moving. So 30 seconds on each side we're going to do. So again, it really stretches the hip, uh, starts to load the legs a little. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go into a standing uh, hip rotation. So a uh, lot of balance here. We're going to open the knee. We're going to turn the heel up and then bring the leg back. And then we're going to repeat that the other way around, okay? So we've got a lot of balance working here. Leg comes up. It goes out to the side. Rotate the heel up. Bring it back and then repeat back in, okay? So we're working our internal and external rotation at the hips, which is really important in golf. So we're gonna hit the other side now. Bring it in, and then back out. Good, so go through whatever range is comfortable for you when you're doing this one. A okay, lot of balance again. Balance is super important in our golf game, so there's a lot of balance going on here. If you need to hold on to a chair, a wall, anything like that, not a problem as you're going through that one. Okay, so now we're going to go into a hip flexor stretch. So kneeling, I'm going to reach and then reach over uh, over my head with this one. So really opening up uh, the side with this one. Breathe as we're going through it. Nice light stretch. Okay, we're going to hit the other side now. I'll show you from the front. We're going to go forward into that stretch, reaching over to open everything up. Again, just a nice light stretch. If you need to back off, no problem. Just feel yourself relaxing into it. Okay, so now we're going to go into a toe touch, okay? So we're just reaching up, hinging forward from the hip, reaching down as low as we can, and then back up. You can feel that stretching out that whole back side of the body. Okay, so next one we're going to go into is a reverse lunge with rotation. So we can reverse lunge back, and then we're going to rotate to the side where the leg's forward. So my left leg's forward here, I'm rotating to the, my left. If I'm on a tee box and I'm warming up for golf, I'll grab a golf club to keep me kind of locked in uh, as I rotate through this. So I rotate, get that trunk rotating. 
and we hit the other side now, okay? Then I'm going to rotate to my right. Even feel some of those core muscles fire up as you're stretching. So core is firing on this side, we're stretching out the other side. And time. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of arm circles now. So start warming up the shoulders. So we're just going to circle back to start with. Okay, we'll do this for 30 seconds, and then we'll do them forwards after. So we're going to go the other way now. Just warming up that shoulder joint. Good, like just reach back and then come around the top. All right, so we're going to do a little neck rotation. So I'm just going to kind of get in that golf posture. Hands going to go across my chest, and I'm just going to rotate my neck. Okay, side to side. You need a lot of rotation through the neck, through the golf swing. And just throughout our day, it's important to keep that rotation through the neck, right? You're trying to check your blind spot. You need that good neck rotation. Okay, and last one, so 90, 90 presses. So my hand's gonna come up to 90 at the elbow, 90 at the shoulder. The other hand's gonna go up top and I'm gonna press down. Okay, and then I'm gonna turn this hand so the palm's facing in. Now I'm pressing up, pressing down. And then last one, I'm gonna press the, or have the palm away and I'm pressing up and down. Okay, now I'm just gonna flip where this right hand is. So it's gonna go on top and I'm gonna press down, press down and then change the hand again. Okay, and now I'm going to go to the other side. So left arm comes out, 90 degrees, hand goes on top, pressing, palm turns in, pressing, palm turns out, pressing, and now it's going to go on top. Palms down, palms turned in. So it's kind of firing up all those little muscles in the shoulder. And now palms turned out and away, and I'm pressing. And time! All right, so that's our warm-up. Kind of warmed up all those uh, little muscles uh, in the shoulder. Uh, got some rotation through the core, stretched out the hips, got the legs fired up. So we're uh, uh, just about ready to go here. So I'm just going to set my timer. Uh, so we're ready for our working sets. We're going to have four exercises in a group of exercises uh, in a group. Uh, we'll do 30 seconds work, 10 seconds rest, and then we'll cycle through that three times. So I'm just going to switch my slides. Okay, so group one, we're going to have a single leg torso rotation, so we'll get a little bit of balance. We'll be working through some rotation there. We'll do a forward lunge, cross body mountain climbers. So we'll be working on the core and then bent over W raises, okay? So we'll be hinged forward uh, doing a W, so we can see them all as I go through them. Um, so yeah, we'll get started with that uh, first group here. Okay, so we're getting set. So we're going to get on one leg, hands cross chest, and now we're just going to rotate um, towards... Uh, that leg that's down, okay? So I'm rotating, so it's working my balance, and then it's also working my torso rotation. Okay, so that's halfway. We're going to switch legs now, okay? So I'm on my right leg. I'm going to rotate towards my right, okay? So again, working that balance, working on that torso rotation. And time. Okay, so we're getting ready. Uh, next one's going to be a forward lunge, okay? So I'm going to be stepping forward in that lunge. And driving back up, I'm going to alternate sides. So just load in the leg, nice flat foot, drive up. Okay? Golf swing, you know, um, a lot of that power is generated from the ground up. So we want to make sure we're able to use those legs to generate that power, gener generate force into the ground. Good. So keep yourself moving, nice and controlled, nice flat foot, driving back up. 
The wind's picking up here a little bit. I hope I don't blow away or any of my stuff doesn't blow away here. Okay, time. Um, so next one's gonna be a cross body mountain climber. So we'll be in a plank and then we're gonna be driving our knee across our body to get the core engaged. Kind of that rotational engagement of the core. So one across and then the other side. So just back and forth, driving that knee across. It doesn't have to touch the elbow, but you're kind of trying to get it there. Good. If you start to feel your back at all, you just plank it out. Just, just rest. And time. Okay, and then we're getting ready for bent over W raises. So W would be in this position, and we're just lifting. Uh, I'm going to hinge forward. And then just doing that little lift. Getting the shoulder blades to work. Rotator cuffs working as well. Feel it all through the upper back, back of the shoulder blades. All right, so one round down, we got two left to go of this group. So getting ready for those torso turns again. So balance is on one leg. Okay, and then we're just rotating. So we're trying to get some stability through our lower body, and then a bit of that um, disassociation or separation between our upper and lower body. Okay, we'll hit the other side now. All right. Okay, so we're getting ready for our forward lunges next. So you got this. Just keep the technique. That's the key. Nice land and solid drive and up strong. And time. Okay, we're getting ready for our mountain climbers. Remember, driving that knee across that cross body mountain climber. Okay, so get down set for our plank. Time. All right, and then we're going to get ready for a bent over W raises next. Okay, so hinge forward in that W. We're just lifting, feeling that upper back engage. And just feel those shoulder blades squeeze together. And stay as high as you can, so you're working that external rotation of the shoulder as well. And time. Two down, one left to go. Doing great. Okay, so, so torso turns. Single leg. Get the stability, get the balance, and then rotate through whatever we can. That trunk turning. Okay, other side. And time. Okay, so we're going to get ready for the forward lunges here. Land in nice and stable, push into the ground and drive yourself back up. Here we go. Alternating. 
Again, balance is important here as well. And time. Okay, now getting ready for the crossbody mountain climbers. We're going to be getting into our plank here. Driving the knee across the body. Make sure you're set. Make sure you're stable through the core and that upper body. And you're driving that knee across the body. Good, keep working, keep working. Good, keep that core tight. And time. Okay, we're getting ready for the uh, bent over W raises. Sorry, there's a bit of noise there. I think somebody's home from the park. Okay, so we're gonna hinge forward. Feeling that upper back engage. Muscles in between the shoulder blades and that rotator cuff are working here. Get that little lift to engage everything. Almost there, five seconds. And time. Okay, so that's our first group done. So grab a drink, grab a breather if you need. Of course, I'm outside, and the one thing I forgot today is my water. Um, but we'll just take a few seconds and then we'll get ready for group two. So in group two, we're going to have a reverse lunge uh, with a knee drive. And I want to try the knee drive across our body a little bit to get a bit of that rotation in again, okay? Um, second exercise is going to be a reach back. So we'll be down on our hands and knees. Uh, we'll take the arm into internal rotation behind our back. And then we're going to do some rotation, so that reach back. Um, we'll do a lateral lunge with some torso rotation. And then we'll do a half kneeling uh, side plank where we're going to lift the leg as well. So we're going to get a, a bit of um, abduction. And that's really going to work those little muscles in the hip that help stabilize us in the golf swing as well. Okay. Um, so yeah, take one more big breath and then we'll get into group two here. So reverse lunge with cross body knee drive. That's what we're going to start with. Okay. So we're nice and stable. We're going to lunge back. We're going to drive that knee across the body. Okay. Then we'll hit the other side. Drive across the body. Try and keep the balance there, and then try and uh, switch switch up which leg we're using each time, okay? I think I got my rhythm now. Drive across the body, getting that rotation. Good, it should, should kind of feel those muscles through the core, uh, and that's time. Uh, those small muscles in the hip working as well. Uh, so we're down on the hands and knees. It would go down on the forearms, hand comes behind the back, and then we're just gonna rotate up. Okay, so we're getting that rotation again through that thoracic spine. Feeling that shoulder blade pull back. Okay, we're gonna hit the other side, so just switch hands. Now you're just be rotating the other way. So really focus on getting that shoulder opened up as much as you can, and time. Okay, so lateral lunge with torso rotation. So we've got a big wide lateral lunge. We're gonna come here, one hand goes down, we're gonna rotate up, okay? And we'll come back up to the middle, we'll go the other way. One hand comes down, rotating uh, that outside hand up towards the ceiling. Rotate, back up to the middle. Rotate, back up to the middle. Rotate. Good. Keep yourself moving there. As we're going through this. And time. Okay, so uh, half kneeling side plank. All right, let's keep track of the time here. So we're uh, off the knees, okay? And now we're just abducting. So we're bringing that hip up. You're really gonna feel uh, your glutes here. Try and lift the foot and the knee at the same time and keep your hips forward. 
Okay, we're going to hit the other side. So you're going to rotate. Or you're going to switch, sorry. And now we're just lifting with the other one. Okay, keep the hips forward. Core is tight. You're going to feel your glutes fire. Uh, both here and on the bottom leg. And time. A lot, of, a lot of lateral hip stability there, as well as you get that lateral core connection. Okay, so reverse lunge with cross body knee drives. So we're here, drive across that body. Good, keep that up. This one requires a lot of balance as well. So focus on control. We don't want to focus quite as much on speed with these ones, but more on control. And time. Okay, so the reach backs, we're getting back down on the ground, so we're working on that upper body again here. Hands behind the back, open up that shoulder, open the chest up towards the wall. Okay, we hit the other side. And time. Whew. All right, good work, good work. So keep that up. Nice seeing controls. We're getting ready for that lateral lunge again. Okay, so lunge down, open up. We're getting that upper body incorporated as well. Keep pushing, keep pushing, we're almost there. And time. All right. Uh, so we got the uh, half kneeling uh, side plank. Okay, so hinge, lifting, keeping the hips forward, keep everything extended. Okay, we're going to switch sides. Sun comes out, really changes things up. All right, so two two rounds down. We've got one left. Doing great. Keep that up. Um, so reverse lunge. So our reverse lunge across the body. So coordinated here. Good. Really try and stick that balance right as we're going through this one. Feel that core engage at the top and time. Okay, so we're getting down on the ground, getting ready for those reach backs again here. Okay, hand goes behind the back and opening up. We're getting that rotation work. Keeps us pretty stable through the lower body, but we can work on that rotation through the upper body. Okay, we switch. And time. Okay, okay. Reach back. So we're going to get into the lateral lunge with rotation next. Nice wide stance. Hinge. Open up. We're getting that stretch through the leg, loading the leg, and turning the upper body. When I turn, I really focus on squeezing that shoulder blade back on the side uh, that I'm turning towards. And we're getting the stretch and then also the activation. And time. 
Okay, so last one's gonna be our side plank here. So let's get down. That half kneeling position, so the knees are stacked, hinge the hips forward, and then we're just lifting. Good, the hips stay forward. Okay, we're gonna switch sides now. Hips go forward. Step up, don't let the core drop down. And time. Nice work. So two groups down, we got two left to go. We're doing four today. I'm just gonna switch the slide so we see the next step. Exercise we have going here. Okay, grab a drink, grab a breather. A little bit of chance to rest. So next one we're gonna do, we're gonna do a squat and then we're gonna do some torso rotation there as well while we're down in the squat. Um, we're gonna do an active single, or uh, a straight leg raise. So it's for a core, so we'll do one leg and then the other alternating. So it's kind of hitting that uh, rotary um, control through the core as well. Um, we'll do a golf stance T rotation. So the arms will be out and we'll be rotating. We'll just be kind of hinged forward. Uh, and then last thing we'll do is a reach roll and lift. So really good for our shoulder health, okay? So we take one more big breath. And then we're going to start with the squat with torso rotation. Okay. Uh, so for the squat, so we'll get started here. Squat, feet are about shoulder width apart. You're going to squat as low as you comfortably can. So if it's down to here, then all you're going to do is you're going to be reaching up. Okay. We're going to hold the squat position. So you go to whatever depth is comfortable for you. And then we're just going to alternate one side, the hand reaches up and you go as far as is comfortable for you. So maybe like this. Whatever, whatever works for you, okay? The feet it should be nice and flat for the squat. And then when, when you reach up, I want you to look as well. Look at the hands. Because if the neck kind of sticks in one spot, you won't be able to rotate as much. Uh, so active uh, single leg raise. We're on our back, core is tight. I'm gonna lift one, control down, and then the other, okay? So up and down, just have a little bit of control, feel your core engaged. You'll even get a stretch through your hamstrings on this one. While the core is working to pull up, the hamstrings getting stretched. So it's kind of a good two for one exercise that way. And time. Okay, so next one's gonna be a golf stance key rotation. So um, we're just gonna get in like a little golf stance, arms are out to the side. Okay, and then we're just going to rotate as much as we can. And you're kind of trying to keep the lower body quiet, okay? So again, you should feel those muscles in the back, um, upper back, back of the shoulder blade, working to help you with that uh, turn through the upper back. Good, so rotate back and forth through it. Try to keep the lower body somewhat quiet. It can move a little bit, but let's not get it going too crazy. Uh, so reach, roll, and lift next. We're down on our hands and knees. We're gonna reach the hand forward, roll the palm up, and then just lift. Okay, and we're just going through that movement. You'll feel that back of the shoulder blade, back of the shoulder working. Okay, nice and controlled. You go as high as you can comfortably. We're gonna hit the other side now. Switching at that halfway point. And time. Okay. So that's first round down. Little breather, getting ready for the squat again here. Show up from a little bit of a different angle. So I'm in my squat stance. Again, you go as low as is comfortable for you. And we're just rotating up. Rotating up. So I may just be here. I may touch my knees instead. Okay, if that's a good depth squat. Again, whatever's right for you. This could be a good warm up on the course, right? We just get down to that kind of whatever's comfortable. We're getting a little bit of rotation. We're getting our legs loaded. Okay. All right. Okay, active single leg raise, so we're down on the ground. Close tight, we're lifting, feel that stretch through our hamstrings, then we control it back down.
That's right. All right, so golf stance key rotations are coming up next. So again, we get that golf stance, arms are out, and then we're just going to be rotating. I'm thinking about my shoulder blades pulling me back, helping me maybe rotate a little bit more, or open up a little bit more. And I'm trying to keep the hands out to the side in that ski kind of position. Time. Okay, get ready for our reach, roll, and lift. So we're on the hands and knees, hands under the shoulders, knees under the hips. Reach, roll, and lift. Oh, we got to switch sides. We got a little carried away on that side. Hit the other side. And it's hot. All right, two rounds down, one left to go. Doing great. Keep that up. Pace yourself. Um, whatever's right for you. So we're getting ready for that squat again. So down, whatever's comfortable. Rotating. Opening up. Feel the tension in the legs. Feel the upper body working to help you with that rotation. And time. Okay, so active straight leg raise. We're back down on the ground. We're going to be hitting the core again here. Tension in the abs, don't let the back arch at all. Have a nice little rest on this one. Core is working, but give the legs a little rest. Okay, so we're getting ready for the golf stance, those T rotations. So we're back in that golf stance, arms are out in the T. And we're rotating. It's gonna help that turn, right? The more we work on it, the better we get. Okay, time. Okay, reach, roll, and lift. Last one of this group. Down on the hands and knees. Here we go. Reach, roll, and lift. Only whatever range is comfortable. Okay, we're hitting the other side. And time. All right. Three, three groups of exercise done. One left to go. Doing great. Give yourself a pat on the back. Grab a drink. Grab a little breather if you need. So group four, we're going to do a walkout, two push-ups. So we'll be standing. We'll walk. Hands go down. Walk ourselves out. Do a push-up. Then all the way back up. Um, we'll do a wide knee mat climber. So we'll be in our plank. We're going to be driving the knee out wide. So it gets a lot more of those obliques and kind of that, um, you know, kind of lateral flexion. Um, movement uh, with the core there. Uh, then we'll do a split squat, so loading up the legs, split squat, and then last we'll do an A-frame stretch, so it's another good stretch for that torso rotation. Okay, so grab one more sip of water if you need, grab one more uh, big breath of air, and we'll get started. So this is our last group here, and then we'll do a cool down. Okay, so again we're going to start with that walk out the push-up, so my hands go down, I'm going to walk myself out, I'm going to do my push
push up, and I'll walk myself back up. Good, and then repeat. So core, shoulders, lower body, everything's getting involved in the game here. If you need to do a modified push up, no problem. Go down on the knees, do that. And time. Okay. So exercise two, wide knee mountain climber. So we're down on our plank. Okay. And then we're driving the knee out to the side like so. We're going to alternate sides. Keep the core tight. Drive that knee out. Whatever's comfortable. And time. Good work, good work. Definitely feeling the core on that one. Okay, so split squats are coming up. Nice little split stance, front to back. Load in the front leg, right? So control, drive up through it. Okay, we're hitting the other side. So switch sides. And time. All right, good work, good work. So A-frame stretch. We're gonna get like in a squat stance, hinge forward, uh, your hand and your elbow are gonna go between your knees, and then we're just opening up like so. Okay, so we're getting that rotation. We're in this kind of A-frame position. Again, feel your shoulder blade pull back. We're gonna switch sides. So my other hand goes in between my knees, and now I'm opening up the other way. And time. Whew. All right, one round down, two left. You guys are doing great. Okay, so walk out the push up. And time. All right, all right. Mountain climber coming up next, okay? So get that plank, drive that knee out. Here we go. Good, keep pushing. Oh, good work, good work. Okay, split squats coming up next. Good to feel most of the weight on that front leg. Okay, so we're gonna switch sides. And time. All right, we're getting ready for that A-frame stretch. Woo. Okay, nice hinge. And just opening up. Forearms in between the knees. If we can comfortably, if not, you can always just put a hand on the knee and rotate through it, okay? So it's up to you. Okay, we're switching, we're gonna hit the other side.
my sunglasses. I'm looking right in the sun here when I rotate. And time. All right, good. Two rounds down, one left to go. Doing great. Okay, walk out the push up. Here we go. And time. Okay, so we're resting, getting ready for our uh, last wide knee uh, mountain climber. Okay, here we go. Drive that knee up to the side. Good, I'm going to take a little rest. I'm feeling the core, get myself set, make sure the technique stays good. That time. Okay. Split squats next. Set. Loading that front leg. Okay, we're switching sides. And time. All right, folks, one left. A-frame stretch coming up, okay? Whew. So whatever depth is comfortable for you. Okay, and then we're just opening that up. Rotating through that trunk. Okay, we're going to hit the other side. Give yourself a pat on the back. That's time. Grab a drink, grab a breather. You need to stay hydrated. Um, now we're just gonna do the cool down. So take a big deep breath. And then we're just gonna start with the lateral lunge, kind of for the groin stretch. Ooh, I'm gonna pop the cool down up here on the screen. All right, cool down. So we're gonna do that groin stretch. Nice wide stance, let's just hinge over. We're breathing, feel that stretch through the inner thigh. Okay, we're gonna go to the other side now. Okay, you can even put your hand down if you want, get your balance, keep that leg as straight as you comfortably can to get that nice stretch uh, through the inner thigh on that trail leg. All right, so our next one we're gonna do is um, our kneeling hip flexor. So kneeling hip flexor, I'm gonna take a knee, it goes out, I'm gonna go forward a little to get that stretch. I'm just gonna do a little lateral reach to open everything up, and I'm gonna breathe. Okay, we'll hit the other side. Thing, go forward, little stretch, reaching over the top. All right, so we're going to do our toe touches now, okay? So nice and tall, reaching up, hinging forward, letting the weight of your body drop you down, and then walk it back up. Two more, reaching it up. Last one. All 
Awesome. Okay, so we're going to do a few little arm circles here. So rotate you back. Okay, we'll go the other way now. We're going forward. Whatever's comfortable for you. Okay, and then we're just going to get in that golf posture. Okay, hands can cross the body. And then we can just do a little neck rotations. Side to side. All right, that's it. So thanks for joining us. That was week one of uh, Get Out and Get Active. So kind of our golf-specific uh, workout. A lot of stuff with rotation involved in there. Really important for golf, but also in life, right? So many things we do are, are, are like this in front of us for our training. But really in life, we rotate to grab this, rotate to grab that. Um, you know, reaching to get something out of the uh, cupboard in the kitchen. So we want to have that ability to rotate in our day-to-day -day activities. So this workout's really going to carry over to that. And then, like I said at the start, that warm-up can be a really nice warm-up if you're going to go out and do a rotational activity. So if it's golf, uh, playing tennis, whatever it may be, you could run through that five to eight minutes before you play, and then you've really prepared your body for that uh, kind of quick rotation and that sport that you're going to play. So uh, thanks for joining us. Hopefully we see you back again soon, and uh, take care, everybody.